Hey, what's up everyone? This is Ryan Share here with PCDJ Karaoke. Uh, this video has uh, been set up to demonstrate how to use the background music player, or rather, how to load multiple cases into the background music player. Uh, the background music player allows you to um, or automatically play buffer music in between singers and sets. Uh, if you start it at the beginning of the night, it'll automatically fade out when you start a karaoke track and fade back in when you stop one. To access the BGM, you click the BGM button here that you'll find along the bottom of karaoke next to the singer data button. Click the BGM to access the BGM area. In this area, the first thing you're going to see is nothing. <laughs> you'll have your little player on the far left hand side. Uh, those are your transport controls to manipulate the background music. Um, to add music, the first thing you're going to do, because it's going to be empty, is click Add Songs. Now at this point, you can either scan an entire folder in or single tracks. You can even import M3U playlists, uh, which are generated from programs like Windows Media Player, um, which you know is handy. You can set up a playlist in one of those apps and then just import it into Karaoke. Sometimes that's a little easier. Um, it's up to you. Now, it, for the purpose of this video, we're going to scan an entire folder in. And the real objective here is to not scan your entire music collection into the background music player. The background music player is basically playlist based. So you want to import uh, a set amount of music. We usually recommend anywhere between two, 200 to 500 tracks tops per case. Uh, a lot of people will do it based on certain events, certain demographics of people they're going to be catering to at their specific event. Um, so I'll show you how this works real quick here and how to create multiple uh, background music cases. So we're going to click scan folder. It's going to open up your browse for folder window. This window will allow you to navigate your entire hard drive or any connected hard drive for that matter. Uh, a lot of people keep their music on an external drive so you can go ahead and access it through here. And We'll go down. I got everything on my D drive here. And we'll just select a folder, Club Music. And after you've selected the folder that you want to import, you're going to be presented with the normal, traditional scan files import uh, dialog box here, which is also present on the karaoke side of things. So we'll click now, import now. Scanning all my files from that particular directory, and there you go. 120 files. So I've just created, or rather imported, 125 files into the background music case area. At this point, uh, I'm going to want to save this. How you save a particular background music case is you right-click anywhere in this track listing area where you see the yellow songs, right-click, and go down to Save Background Music Case As. Select that, and we type in a name for our case. So that's now been saved. The next step to create another background music playlist is to right click and clear background music case, because we've already saved it. So now we're just gonna clear it out and start with a blank slate here. Cleared. So now, I'll import my second group of music. Now you can again, you can do this by uh, scanning a folder entirely, adding single tracks. Uh, but for some, it may be more convenient to open up something like Windows Media Player, create a playlist there, and use that M3U. Uh, so at this point, in the Browse for Folder menu, I will once again navigate to my external drive. For the purpose of this, we'll just select this folder. Going to import your list of music. Could have probably selected a smaller folder, but yeah, this is right around where you want to probably cap out your playlist around 500 files. So here we go. There's my next playlist of music. So I can right click once again, save background music case as. And now you see, because we've previously saved a case as well from this drop down menu, you now have a load background music case.
which I will show you in a second here. So I'm going to click Save Background Music Case As. Call this 50s Tunes. It's been saved. So basically, you repeat that process to create each of your background music cases uh, for your background music there. If you want to load a particular case, you right click, you go to load background music case. It's going to show you the two cases or as many cases as you've created uh, in this dialog uh, menu here, this bo box. So you select the one you want to load. We'll select the first one I created, the club music list. And it just swaps out whatever list you've got in front of you for that saved list. So that's all there really is to it. You just want to create as many background music uh, playlists as possible. A lot of people uh, assume that maybe you put your whole collection in there when truly this uh, the BGM is um, playlist-based. So hopefully that helps, and uh, keep checking back for more videos. Thanks.